everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I'm Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week's project um, is a little bird, and I'm going to show you how to create a little bird bath using the um, the wooden the wooden crate or the wooden basket. Super easy to do. And we're going to kind of create this little square painting that's really, really easy to frame. It's a really fun thing to do. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to need a few things. So we're going to need the little wooden crate right here. This is from the rustic container set. And actually you can use any of the containers will work for this. We're going to use the little bird. So this one right here. You can also use multiple birds. So if you want to put a couple of birds on that little bird bath, feel free to do that. Remember, I'm just giving you the idea. So the whole point of these YouTube videos is that you get inspired and I and I show you a different idea, but a lot of these things are interchangeable. So if you're missing one piece or you don't exactly have the container I'm using, use something that you have. That's the great thing about these stamps is that they're interchangeable and a lot of different things will work. So I'm gonna use these vines. This is from the um, Spring Basket set. So I'm going to use these two, the right and the left. And then in the new foliage set, I'm going to use this straight uh, vine right here. In the new flower set, these little wildflowers, the little circle of hearts right here. So those two. And then in the foliage set, the two grasses. If you don't have that straight uh, vine, you can for sure use this one too. But uh, I'm going to be using these two. Okay, so let's get going. Uh, we're going to start out by stamping that container. So that would be the little um, wooden crate. So I'm going to use sepia and I'm not going to stamp the whole thing. So I'm just going to ink up until the line. So right here, we're going to set this kind of in the grass. So we don't need to have this whole thing. And we're going to stamp that right about in the center. So right about there is good. So now we're gonna to go to our next step and that would be to pull the color out of the lines. This is always the first thing that we do. Stamp the image and drag the color out. Underneath here, this is gonna be pretty dark underneath that, that little wood band. So pull that color out and then drag this color over from the side. Remember, stay inside the lines. We don't wanna cross any of these um, any of these lines because we'll lose the shape of the image. Okay, so we've got that done and ready to go on to the next step. So let's add the water in here now. And we're gonna do that by mixing a couple of colors. So I'm using the number 17, the steel blue. So I'm gonna put some of this on my palette. And I'm also using a little bit of the 86, the African violet. I'm going to kind of mix these two together. You can uh, experiment with this and you can use any colors that you like. So try some different combinations of blue. It's kind of fun. So we're going to make a little uh, bit of an arch in this, in this little basket. So we're going to bring this color up in just a little bit of a bend. So just like this. And then we're going to come back in there and just draw a line in here. So we're going to let that dry just a little bit. And then take the fine tip now of your sepia and just kind of follow this line all the way around. So just like this. Don't worry too much about that if you don't get it exactly the same. It's okay. It's okay. We're just showing that this little basket has a lip on it that it's able to hold this water. Okay, just like that. So let's go ahead and put the little bird on here. So I am going to use my positioner because I wanna make sure that I get this little bird in the right place. So this is the little bird right here. And I'm going to use a little plastic shield and ink this bird in the sepia. So I'm gonna ink that up and place it in the corner, just like that. And now I can place it exactly where I want it. And that looks pretty good right there. And I'm just going to stamp that in here now. So I've got him exactly where I want him. Uh, we want to make sure and add dark color now to the eyes and that little beak. It's really hard to get that really dark when you first stamp it because you are stamping on textured paper. And so sometimes it doesn't show up really um, dark. So you want to go back in there and really get that dark. 
So now we're pulling the color out of the lines a little bit, and I'm gonna add some color now to this, this little bird. And I'm gonna do that from my palette. So this just takes a little bit of color, just a little bit, and just brush it on. Just carefully brush it on. Make sure you don't have too much color uh, on your brush. It's better to just apply this carefully in stages than to get too much on here. We still want the face to be light. So just take your time and get this color in. The more times that you apply it, the darker it's gonna get. Okay, so we've got this little guy ready to go. Let's take some of this color now and add a little bit to this crate. Just a little bit. This is just a mix of that number 17 and 86. Remember the sides, this area in here, this is gonna be the darkest. It is a round container. I'm just gonna drag it to the center and you can see I'm staying inside the line so I'm not crossing over with my brush. And, and don't feel like you've gotta color every single uh, area in line to line. You're gonna be much happier with how it looks if you just leave those white spaces Let's just add a little more blue now to the water. Let's make this just a little bit darker in here. That looks good. Okay, we're ready to move on to the next step and let's add our grasses in. So we're gonna use the little grass and I'm using the number 15. So this is the olive green, one of my favorites. And remember to walk that grass and I always tend to walk the grass down in a downward uh, motion. I think it adds a little more interest than just going straight across. So that's up to you, but I've sort of developed a habit of doing that now, so um, I normally always do it the same way. So pull that color out of the lines. Remember to go up and out. And we can pull a little of this color out too to the side. It's all about making things look three dimensional and showing some background. So we want this to look like a little painting. We don't want anyone to think that we've stamped it. Okay, now at this point, I'm gonna I'm gonna tape off this area and make my little square. So I I just took the shortcut and I used my little positioner square. So this is about two and a half inches. And um, you can measure and, you know, see how, how long this is actually, about three and a half inches long. So you can make a little mark on here at about two and a half inches. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. So it is two and a half inches across. So it's two and a half inches this way. So I can kind of position this and I can look at my mark down here and say, okay, that's about in the center and that's probably about where I want it. So I'm just gonna take a pencil now and just trace around this little positioner. So another use for your positioner. This little thing is so great. And then we'll just draw a line across here. It's just a guideline because we're gonna tape this off so we want to make sure that we have um, that we have an uh, um, a square. So now I'm going to take my um, take my washi tape, and I'm just going to tape this off. So just follow, kind of follow the lines here. Tape it off just like that. This is easy to remove too when we're done uh, when we're done stamping. So just right along the line like that. It's a really fun thing to do. Um, I do this a lot. Just kind of gives you a nice clean edge and just a different look from your paintings. These are really fun to frame too because they're um, they're in a specific size. You know, they're this is a two by two, so it's easy to put in a little three inch frame. So cute. Okay, so I've got this all taped off. So now I can stamp over this, this tape and I'm not gonna get into my, um, my protected areas here. Okay, so let's, let's keep going now. So I'm gonna add some green to my uh, palette. 
And maybe let's do a mix of greens. So let's, that was the olive green. So let's add a little uh, cool green to it. So this is the number 72. And let's just kind of mix these two colors together. Give us a little cool green for the background. And we're gonna brush in a little color into the background. So don't stress out about this. We're just gonna brush a little green in, kind of like this. Just kind of in the background. Just use your brush. It doesn't have to be any specific shape. And then uh, what, what we want to do too, when you've got this mask off, you wanna make sure that you're getting the color clear to the edge because that's gonna give us a really nice clean edge. So we wanna make sure we get that color clear to the edge. Okay, so we've got our little background in here. So we're gonna brush in some sky now. And that would be a mix of these two colors again. So let's add a little more of this number 17 and a little more of the African violet. I'm gonna mix these two colors together. And again, you can, you can use whatever color of blue you want for the sky. Experiment with a few color combinations and just kind of see what you get. So I'm gonna start up here now and I'm gonna brush this in. I want this pretty light because I want to um, get some foliage in here. And we can make a really um, kind of a neat effect here too with a cloud line. If you just make some, some little, uh, leave a little white area. So as you bring the color down, uh, don't bring it all the way down to the green. So we can kind of create some, a little white uh, cloud formation here. Try that, it's really fun to do. Okay, that looks good. So let's keep going here. Let's add some foliage now while this is all drying. So let's add some foliage around our little bird bath. And that would be with a vine. So I'm gonna use this olive green again and just get this in here a couple of times. Add a little more foliage in here. Just like that. Remember, we wanna do that at least two or three times, at least probably three or four times uh, if you can, because we want that dark to light. So get that three-dimensional image. And then add the water to it. So just like that. Uh, let's go ahead and add our flowers to it now. So that would be our wildflowers. And I don't need all of these, so I'm just gonna use these little ones on the side. So just these three little ones, I'm gonna ink it in two colors. So this is the purple. So the violet, number eight, and then I'm gonna ink the stems. I'm gonna stamp this a couple of times. So just like that, I'm gonna do it again. And you can ink as much of the stem as you want. So if you want these stems to be a little shorter, you can do that, just don't ink the whole thing. Or you can use just, just one or two of these little flowers. I wanna put a couple back behind here. So let's just tape this off. This is just a, using a little um, post-it note. And I'm just gonna ink a couple more of these. And just get a few back behind here. Okay, just like that. That looks good. And you can see I didn't bring it clear around because we still want this little bird to be our focal point. So we don't want to get too much clutter around him. We want to kind of keep him out in the open, sort of in the white area, and not bring all this uh, foliage and stuff around. because so it'll be easy to just kind of lose him. So now we're gonna add a little water and you can see how that just really pops the color out. And it changes the shape too. So the whole goal is that it looks like a little painting, not a stamped image. And you can see how adding that water to it really, really changes, changes the look. Okay, so let's go down in here now. We're gonna add some uh, grasses down in this area. So that would be the large grass. And we use the same olive green. 
I'm going to get this right down in the corner. So just like this. We want to make sure that we get enough color all the way around the edge so that when we take that tape off, uh, you can really see that this is um, a little square. So adding water to that. And you can see I left some white areas in here for my little flowers. So that would be this little circle of hearts here. And I'm going to use uh, Prussian blue. It's kind of a warm, warm color. And I'm not gonna use the whole thing. So I'm just gonna use the ones on the top. So just the three or four that are right on the top. And I'm kind of going in an up and down motion. Kind of like a W. And I can stamp it clear off the edge because our, the whole edge is being protected here. And now I'm gonna add my water to it and just dab. So cute. Just dab. You can take your time and get every one of these little images or you can just kind of dab at the whole area. It's kind of up to you. One way is a little more abstract, but both ways work and are so cute. And you can see I'm getting a lot of color now around the edge and that's that's what we're going for here. You can really brush this color into the corner. Okay, so now let's keep going and we're gonna add our vines into the top now. So that would be our foliage here. So these two, so the left and the right. And we're going to use the um, the olive green again. So I'm going to really ink this up and I'm just going to start over here and bring some of this down. Another one over here and let's do the other side. Just keep putting this in. one and you can see I'm still staying away from that little bird I want to make sure that he really he really stands out and you can always add more of this so uh, we can add some water to it and kind of see what we have and if we need to add more um, of this foliage we can do that so I'm just dabbing now just kind of dabbing at this don't worry if you go outside of the lines. Don't worry if you add some green somewhere else. You can carry this, kind of carry this color over outside of the lines. It's okay. Just kind of creates more of a background. And you can see I'm really getting this color uh, into the side here, into the edge. Really want to see that. We're about finished here. Let's add a little more color into the water. A little more color to the bird. And we can add some more to the basket now. You can see it's it's really in the shadows here. We've got a lot of foliage going on, so we can really add some color now to it. Don't be afraid to add some green also from your palette. You can do that, especially back here in the corners. Okay, that looks pretty good. We've got our little uh, clouds in the background and our sky. And let's just put in another line here so we can really see this, 
this little background. Okay, I think we are ready to take our tape off. Make sure it's really dry so that you don't smear any of this. I've done that a few times. And you can see we've got our little painting already finished. So cute. Go ahead and sign and date that. And easy to sign right at the bottom. Put a few of these little details back in. Sometimes the water just erases the details and it's so easy to just put them back in. That looks good. Try this, it's so fun. Go ahead when it's all dry, just erase the lines off of the side, your little pencil lines, and put this in a frame. So cute, somebody is going to love this. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I will see you all next week. Thank you.